Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the project box. I have here um, a smart bulb I brought over from the UK. Um, I'm currently um, on holiday in Portugal and I brought some smart bulbs with me to present as a gift to my in-laws. And um, the, uh, the problem is um, on the continent it's extremely rare for you to see these bayonet fittings they mostly for um, to be used in 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 the UK and uh, also some of the the previous colonies British colonies so most uh, in most places in Europe it's all um, Edison screw uh, like uh, like this uh, screw type uh, fitting so um, a little trick that I'd like to share with you is um, these caps, these bayonet and Edison screw caps, they can actually be swapped over. They, they're sort of interchangeable. This diameter is the same. And you can, you can basically pry them off and swap them over. So I can take this smart bulb and convert it to a, um, an Edison screw. And I'll show you how to do that. It's relatively simple. You can just pry it off from uh, one of these bulbs, and uh, you just have to wedge it in to the side here, and with a bit of force, work your way around, and it should come off. Also, this little pip here at the end that levers out, and it just wedges in the electrical connection over there. And then this comes off here. And that just traps one wire in there. So now you have this off. And because there's uh, two of these smart bolts, I'm going to convert to Edison screw. I've got two already done here. Now you can damage them, but it, because it's a soft metal, you can just straighten out the, the little um, folded over bit of aluminium or steel or whatever this is. With the bayonet fitting, I think they're called B22. And um, they're either have, these can either be pried out, but in this case they're soldered, so you just have to wet the solder. I'll just give it a shake and the solder falls off. And to loosen the, the wires that poke through here. And then we can pry this off. And uh, we should then be able to swap it to um, Edison screw. So let's give that a try. So I think uh, the first thing to do is to um, apply a bit of extra solder on there just to soften up these solder connections. Just in case they use lead free solder. So a good trick is solder is quite heavy. So if we just heat up with the soldering iron and just give it a tap and as you can see it sort of liberated the connection there we'll do do the same over here heat it up nicely now if we're lucky we can um, use a screwdriver and just free up those uh, why I see that one's loose and that one's loose. So now if we can get in between the plastic and the connection there, we should be able to once you get a purchase on it, it should be fairly easy to lift it off. There we go. Now it's loose. That's it. It reveals our uh, two connections. And in theory, that should go on there nicely. So what we need to do, just drop that pin out. So one of these wires here just traps to the side and wedges in 
along the side there. So we'll do that. We'll put this one to the side. So it's ready to be wedged in there. Just lay it flat. And this one should poke through the middle. And it's trapped by that little pin there. So let's see if we can get that just to sit nicely through there. Give it a bit of brute force. So this one's good to go. There we go. We've got a good electrical connection there. Right. Now that that's done, um, let's uh, put it into the socket and see if the bulb powers up. So it seems to work just fine. So let's do the other one as well. One thing you have to be aware of, depending on uh, what material this end, this is aluminium and this looks like steel. If you squash down on this too hard, it might this might dent in. It happened to me before, and I had to change it to a uh, to a different cap. And this this cap looks like it's made out of steel. But um, what you could do is um, when you push it back on, use an unpowered socket, screw it in slightly, so you have some way, some way to push it in. So we'll do that on the next one, as not to damage it. We'll just carefully push it on. I, I pressed down and I managed to dent this cap in and damage it, and I need another one. I did that off camera. So let's do the next one. So we'll wet the solder again. And give it a tap. Do the same with the other side. That's it. Our connections are free now. So with the screwdriver, we just lift those wires up. Make sure they're loose. That one's loose. That one's loose. So they're both loose. So now we need to pry the, the cap off. The thinner your screwdriver, the less chance you have of damaging um, the plastic on the bulb. looks like it's starting to break loose. It's just these little um, pin um, indentations that hold it on. Looks like we're a little bit a little bit stuck there still. There we go. So if we take our end cap We need one to poke down the middle. I think that's the longest one. So we bend this one over to the side. That can be trapped by the cap. We go, it's protruding through. So this is the point where you have to be careful if this metal is soft, it can actually bend or buckle. We'll just try and push it on carefully. There we go. That went on rather nicely.
And you can bend this metal in a bit to crimp it on a bit tighter. If you have a, a really sharp object, you can, those little dimples, you can enforce them for extra strength. But I think that's rather good. And now it's time to pop the center connection in. There we go. Now the bulb converted. So now we have two. This one's pretty and this one's not so pretty. But I think it's good enough. Let's uh, give them both a quick test. And then we can set them up with Google Home or Alexa. See if they work. So now it's 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 working just fine. This one's uh, still set to warm white. Let's try this one. This one's on cold white. Very good. Yeah. So it just happened that these one, ones were on special in the UK, and uh, I thought to bring them as gifts to the in-laws over here in uh, Madeira, Portugal. And uh, they're a lot cheaper than, I, I went to the shops to see how much they are here. These are substantially cheaper. So in this case, I suppose it was with relatively little effort, you can just uh, change the end caps over from an old bulb, even a failed bulb, you know, where the, the bulb no longer works, but you could just salvage the end cap. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I don't know if this is useful for many people, but um, if you like me and you travel between the UK and um, uh, Europe uh, quite often, um, and you can bring stuff from from over from England back to to Europe, and you want to use it, um, you know these light bulbs aren't cheap. The um, smart style light bulbs, so it might be worth converting them. So you can use them on the continent. So thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for uh, my next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.